A very hearty welcome to this new episode of Spell Talk, the program based on tricky spelling. Today we will consider the first part of the tricky word starting with uh, S. And our first word today is sacrilegious. So let us see the spelling first. S-A-C-R-I-L-E-G-I-O-U-S. The tricky area in the word is L-E-G-I. Now, sacrilegious means violating the sacred or blaspheming God, etc. Malayalam Deva Dushagamaya. So, let us see that word once more. Sacrilegious. S A C R I L E G I O U S. Our next word, sadism. The spelling, S A D I S M. The tricky area in the word is the single D. Now, there are two points to be specially noted about the word. One is its uh, pronunciation. The word is sadism, not sadism. And another point uh, is that the word has originated from the name of a French writer, namely Count de Said. So sadism comes from the word said, not from sad or sadness. Okay, sadism means uh, enjoyment from watching or making others suffer. Another meaning of the word is the pleasure obtained through sexual perversion. So let us see the word once more, sadism, S-A-D-I-S-M. And our next word, song fro. the spelling, S-A-N-G-F-R-O-I-D. The Peculiar pronunciation is because of its French origin. In the original French literal sense, song fra means uh, called blood. So we use it in the English language to mean uh, feeling calm and quiet and composed, even when you are surrounded by dangers. So let us see the word once more. Song fra, S-A-N-G-F-R-O-I-D. And our next word is satellite. The spelling S A T E L L I T E. The tricky area in the word is the T E L L after S A. Satellite means a heavenly body or an artificial body going round the planets, etc. Malayalam Ubagraham. Another meaning is a hanger on malayalam asridan singidi etc okay now we will see a pair of words namely skeptic and uh, septic let us see them one by one the first word in the pair is skeptic the spelling s c e p t i c that is the british spelling and there is an american spelling also and that is s k e p t i c skeptic means a person who calls in question the widely accepted doctrines or principles, especially of a religion. That is uh, a skeptic. Now we will come to the other word in the pair, and that is septic. The spelling, S-E-P-T-I-C. Septic means full of bacteria, festering, putrid etc. So that is uh, skeptic and septic. Now we will see another word namely scepter. The spelling, American spelling is S-C-E-P-T-E-R. That is the American spelling, S-C-E-P-T-E-R. And the British spelling is S-C-E-P-T-R-E. -E. Okay, scepter means a decorated rod carried by a king or a queen during ceremonial occasions as a symbol of their power. So let us see that word once more, scepter. Okay, first let us see the British spelling, S-C-E-P-T-R-E. -E. And then the American spelling, S-C-E-P-T-E-R, that is scepter, okay. Now we will see another word and that is uh, schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, the spelling, S-C-H-I-S-E-D-O. P-H-R-E-N-I-A, schizophrenia. The word uh, means a mental disorder marked by the disconnection between thought, feeling, etc. and action. So let us see the word once more. Schizophrenia, S-C-H-I-Z-O-P-H-R-E-N-I-A. 
N I A that is schizophrenia. Now we will see another pair of words. One is sedative and the other is sedative. Okay, sedative means a drug or a tranquilizer that can induce sleep or relieve pain. Okay, that is sedative. Now the other word in the pair is seductive. S C D U C T I V E. Seductive means sexually attractive, alluring, tempting, etc. Uh, many people have a tendency to confuse between uh, sedative and uh, seductive. So often we hear uh, some statements like, uh, I have given a high dose of seductive to the patient, etc. Uh, such statements should be avoided at any cost. Okay, so let us see these words once more. Sedative, S-C-D-A-T-I-V-E. Seductive, S-C-D-U-C-T-I-V-E. And now we have another word, a very common word, and that is separate. The tricky area in the word is the one letter A after S-C-P. Okay, so let us see that spelling once more. S-C-P-A-R-A-T-E. And the separate means different, distinct, not connected, etc. So, with that, we come to the end of the first part of the tricky word starting with uh, S. So, it's goodbye for the time being till we meet again at the same time, same day next week. Thank you.